Hi everyone. So this reading is going to be tied to the reading that I posted on Monday night. Uh, the title of that one, I think it was, they're they're trying to decide between they were trying to decide between you and another person, and they're choosing you, and you're about to find out about it. Something along those lines. Um, so if this is resonating, if this reading resonates with you, that one probably will as well, because that was kind of the, you know, the the this is the follow up to that storyline basically. Um, and what I was feeling in that, that reading, I was primarily channeling a King of Pentacles type. And I feel like he maybe has a pattern with women that he, he thinks that they're Queen of Cups types, like he thinks that they're warm and loving and nurturing at first, but maybe he's not very intuitive when it comes to women, at least not in a romantic sense. It's like he has these shallow or fake women around him, or at least he has in the past, and it's like he doesn't find out till later. It's like they're really Queen of Swords types, but in, you know he thinks that they're Queen of Cups types, or he thinks that there's more to them there than there is. And I feel like he's been rejected by these women, or he's just been disappointed by them in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, maybe just saw their true colors over time. Um, I think part of him even wonders if there's something just wrong with him at this point. And in that reading, I was feeling like for some, it's like he might have been considering going back to an ex out of loneliness. Like he didn't really want to do that, but I feel like he's been single and he's been dating and it's just not really working out. Like he's just meeting the same type of women or he's just getting rejected. Like there's just some kind of pattern he's been repeating. And out of lonely, it's like he wants someone. He wants to have someone to go out with, to have fun with. Um, and I feel like he's almost been considering going back to an ex of his, and I just felt like that, I, I felt like that was going to be a whole, you know, another can of worms, so I didn't get into that too much in that last reading that I did on Monday night, but I felt like it would be a bad idea. Um, I do feel like he has new love that's just come in or is about to come in, but, and that that's kind of where it goes back to him choosing between you and another person where he might have been on the fence. Maybe he was just getting disappointed and kind of considering just saying screw it and just going back to the ex because it's familiar, it's stable, you know, fairly stable. It's, it's predictable at least. And then you come in, but it's, it's like it's it's new and exciting and interesting, but it's it's also unfamiliar. So I think he's kind of been on the fence and still trying to decide between his different options. Um, but I wanted to do a reading for him. So this actually isn't really for the feminine in that, in that uh, energy group. This is more for the King of Pentacles that might be considering going back to an ex. I just got really bad vibes from it. I just felt like... I mean, I can feel that he's lonely. I can get that... I get that sense, but it's... It's almost like he kind of gave up. I feel like... And I'm not getting like a major depressing energy, just more of a... Just kind of like an impatience or an exhaustion, I guess you could say. But I wanted to look into that. I wanted to look in what, into what happened. There's some kind of warning there. I could feel that. You know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I primarily channel. I mean, I use the, the tarot cards to tell the story and they're a tool. But I mean, you know, primarily, sometimes I'll come on here and I'll know what the story is already because I'll either have dreams about it or I'll just feel it. Like, I'll just feel the energy of it. Um, but, but let's see. Yeah, there's something off with that. So what happens if this King of Pentacles from that reading that we did Monday night, if he gets back together with his ex, if he pursues it, what's going to happen between them? Five of Cups, Page of Wands, Three of Wands. King of Cups, the Moon, I feel like he's more in touch with his emotions than she is. Whoever that ex is from his past, I think he's more in touch with his emotions. Because it looks to me here almost like he has to hide his emotions. Like he has to, because the moon is about something being hidden. King of Cups is a man that's emotionally available, emotionally mature, in touch with his emotions. Uh, maybe someone who's a romantic at heart but doesn't show people necessarily. 
Because, I mean, it feels, you know, again, with the moon, it feels like he has to hide this side of himself when he's with her. Tell me more about this. Why the, the page of wands and the three of wands? I almost feel like she might keep him waiting as well. Like, he might not. Let me see. Is this accurate? Like, at this point, she she feels like he's not her first choice anymore. Even if he was in the past, I feel like she's either got other men now, or if she doesn't have other men, she's looking at her other options. Like, she's, um, she wouldn't be sure about him. Like, I feel like if he were to pursue her, I think he might get rejected or he might get put on hold. Like, she might want to have him as a backup option, but I feel like she would keep him waiting. I feel like this woman maybe liked who he pretended to be, and when she saw who he actually was, she didn't want him anymore. Like, so yeah, I, I just yeah, I think that I think that he would be waiting. I think that wait would be frustrating as well. I think that it's like he would have to hide his emotions because he'd have to be playing it cool. He'd have to tell me more about this: the moon, the hierophant. Yeah, because it's like he has a desire for commitment just in general. He wants to find love. He wants to find his person. Um, I don't feel like it's with this person from the past, though. She doesn't really get him. I feel like it's more on her end, though. It, it just feels, I mean, it feels like he understood her for the most part, but I'm getting the sense more that she didn't fully understand him or fully know him. Tell me more about this. Someone could even be either, it's, it's one of them is holding on to some kind of, what are they holding on to? I, I feel like it's some kind of like resentment, like something that happened in the past, like they're not willing to let it go, but I need more detail. The Emperor, Judgment. Three of Swords. Ace of Wands. I feel like they might not have been sexually compatible. Like it was like two, both of them were dominant or both of them were submissive in bed. Like something like that. It's like there was some kind of incompatibility sexually. Um, wait a minute. Is this woman bisexual or a lesbian? Okay, this isn't for all of you. This is probably only for like 10% of the masculine that are here right now. Like, but I think for some of you, this woman, this ex of yours is actually a lesbian or she's, or she's bisexual and she's maybe just starting to explore that and she doesn't know if she wants to date women or if she wants to date men. But there's something, there's something there. There's some kind of, there's some kind of incompatibility, especially sexually. I feel like they're also never in the same energy at the same time. Like, you see how he was the king of cups, but she wasn't. And now it's like, when she's the queen of cups, he has to be the king of pentacles. Like, she doesn't like it when he's the king of cups for some reason, which is so strange. And that does kind of make sense if she is, you know, bisexual or possibly a lesbian, why she wouldn't. Because, I mean, most women would, like, love to have an emotionally available man. Like, most of us would, like, absolutely love to have a man that's, you know, romantic and emotionally open and honest and expressive and pursues us. Like, most women would, like, most of us would love that. So it's, it's odd to me that she doesn't like that because it's like most women would absolutely, like, kill for a man like that. 
but I mean, like I said, if she's bisexual or lesbian, it does make sense because it's like she doesn't, maybe she doesn't know if she wants to date men or women. So it's like if he's too into her, if he's too emotionally open, she's like, well, I don't even know if I want this or not, you know? Because it's like, it, it, it's like when he's the king of cups, she's the queen of swords. And when she's the queen of cups, he's the king of pentacles. It's like they're never they're never the same suit at the same time. That's so interesting. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Tell me more about this. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like she's she's not. I feel like there could have been like a drink like a drinking or partying issue. Like one of them did it more than the other as well. Um but I feel like she's not emotionally available. Like, she's not mature enough to be emotionally available and have a real relationship. She's not, um, she's not stable. She's not mature. She's not emotionally available and open. I don't even know if she's aware of that. I feel like she might be. I feel like this King of Pentacles is a lot more self-aware than she is. Um, I, I don't think she sees herself as a queen of swords. I don't think she realizes that she's a big part of the problem that, you know, whatever happened between them, I don't think she gets it. I just think he's more mature than she is. It just feels like... God, bear with me, guys, because I'm, like, channeling the energy from it, so just hold on a second. It just feels like she doesn't like romantic men, honestly. It's, it's like maybe, I don't know. It's like she just wants what she can't have or she wants something more surface level. Like maybe they had fun with each other at first and then when it got too deep, she ran away. Like it, it got, it's almost like she really likes certain parts of him. But when she saw the other side of him, when she saw a deeper side of him, for whatever reason, she she didn't want it she didn't resonate with it uh huh which makes sense with her being emotionally unavailable because it's like it's easy you know on a surface level it's like if someone's emo like this woman if, if someone like that is emotionally unavailable it's like it's easy to date someone and say um you know, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with, you know, this leading to commitment and possibly marriage and whatever else. But then when it comes down to it, when you actually have a man that's like expressing his emotions, it's like she couldn't actually deal with it when it was in front of her face. It's almost like she liked it on paper. She likes the idea of marriage. She likes the idea of a wedding. She likes the idea of maybe even having children, but she's not, she doesn't really want those things deep down or she doesn't really, um, know how to have those things deep down I guess you could say it's like she keeps it very surface level but I don't think that she's even aware that she does it I just say it just feels like a woman who's very emotionally unavailable but just is not aware at all that she's emotionally unavailable like she tells herself and everyone else that she's you know totally open to a long-term committed relationship but when she has one when the when she's actually, you know, forced to, to be, when it, when it's right there in front of his, in front of her face, like if a man is crying in front of her or being emotional, or if they're having an emotional conversation, she, she doesn't like it. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know how to be comfortable in that energy. So she's, yeah, she's, she's not emotionally available there. Um, I don't know more about this. Hold on. Hold on. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, I don't, I think to get his wish fulfillment, he has to walk away from this, or he already did walk away from this because he realized that he couldn't really show that side of himself to her. It could have even been one of those relationships where it started out like, you know, 
shallow or fun or maybe even sexual or whatever else. But then it's like maybe at a certain point he wanted it to get deeper and it's like they just never got to that point. Like they never got to that deeper level, you know, even if they were in a committed relationship, it's like they never got to that point where he was able to really feel safe and comfortable and supported showing this other side of himself to her. I mean, I think she's crazy. Like, most women, most of us would love a guy like that. Like, I don't know what's wrong with her. But, you know, maybe, I mean, okay. But like I said, the lesbian thing, for some of you, that does make sense. She, she, tell me more about her, actually. Tell me more about her. Tell me more about her. King of Swords. Eight of Swords. See, she's in more of a masculine energy, honestly. She doesn't. She doesn't resonate with feminine energy. And so I think not only was not only was he incompatible with with her, but I feel like I mean I feel like they were both incompatible with each other. Like it wasn't just one-sided. It's not like one of them was really happy and the, you know the other one was just not sure about it. It's like I think if he's honest, I think if this man that's you know in this energy group is honest with himself, I don't think he's sure about her either because I feel like he wants someone that's a queen of cups. And honestly, this woman is like a king of swords. She's not even a she's not even just a queen of swords. She's she's in masculine energy, like. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I think he wants a woman that's more gentle, more vulnerable. And I, I don't... It's like she doesn't want to be that way. Um, I don't know. It almost feels like she is kind of shallow to me a little bit. For some, not for all of you. Why is she so blocked? She's so blocked. She probably has chakra blocks. She probably, she could have demonic attachments even. She has like, like both, you see like these characters. So I look at the pictures too. It's like, you see how they're both blindfolded? They're both blocked. Like this woman is a king of swords, but it's almost like she doesn't like that's who she is deep down like she's in a masculine it could even be like a like a masculine soul that's in a female body or something like that too it's like she is a king of swords deep down she does not resonate with being gentle and you know girly and loving like that's not her um but it's almost like she doesn't know how to explore this side of herself she's been blocked and she's Hmm. I think this woman is just going through a lot. Like, I think she's going through a whole transformation, like just soul searching. Experimenting with different roles. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't feel like it would work out if you went back with this ex. If she is actually straight, I feel like it's she probably wants someone who's more um Well, it's interesting cuz it's like it could go either way, honestly, cuz with her being the king of swords, it's like either she wants to be the daddy in the relationship and she wants a man that's very submissive and just going to let her take the control and just going to do whatever she says, like she wants to be the boss. So this could have been like two doms like sexually like in bed together or two subs in bed together. It's like they were there's like some kind of sexual incompatibility there. So I mean, I think it's going to be different for for everyone here cuz I'm getting both energies. Um you know, like I said, for some, it's like she wants a man that's submissive. She wants to be the the leader in the relationship. She wants to, she doesn't, she wants a man to almost like follow her, I guess. Like she likes to be in control. She likes to call all the shots. For others, I feel like she might actually want a man that's more, um, how do I explain it? It's like, she doesn't, okay, so basically she doesn't want to, she either, how do I explain this energy? Sorry, bear with me, guys. 
I mean, I, I would say like, yeah, she probably does have an emotional side deep down, but I don't think it's as deep as this man thought it was. I don't think she's as complex and mysterious and emotionally deep as as he might have thought that she was. So, like, yeah, I'm sure there probably is, like, a, a, you know, somewhat deeper side to her where maybe she's been hurt and she's a little bit guarded, but it's it's not, there's not a lot of emotion there. Like, he has a lot more emotional depth than she does. She's a lot, he's a lot more complex. He's a lot more interesting, more unique. He has a lot more going on inside than she does, you know? And he might have even projected that onto her. Like, he has that depth, and so he thought, like, oh, she probably has it too. Like, he just... He can't, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't resonate with someone being shallow. But I, I think she is kind of shallow, honestly. Um, but basically, the overall energy I get is, like, she doesn't really have a strong emotional side. And whatever emotions she does have, she doesn't really like expressing them. Like I said, she's in more of a masculine energy. Like, she doesn't like being emotional. She doesn't like being vulnerable. I think she resonates more with, like being a little competitive, a little reserved, a little bit logical. Um, so it's like, yeah, she either wants a man, you know, like I was saying, that is just completely submissive to her, or she wants a man that is not in touch with his emotions and not too emotional. Like, she wants a man that's, like, logical and just going to allow her to be logical, like, queen or king, queen and king of swords type. Like, either way, both scenarios, she doesn't have to express emotions, you know? But honestly, I don't, I don't, the, the thing is, I just don't feel like the energy of her hiding that much. Because, like, when I pull cards, I mean, like I said, I primarily channel, so it's like, I feel a certain energy, and I don't feel like, I'm not getting the vibe of, like, a woman that's just, like, really, you know, emotionally deep, but just very damaged and very hurt, and she's trying her hardest not to show her emotions. Like, I get it's fairly easy. Like, yeah, she has walls up, but it's fairly easy for her to put those walls up. Like, there's not, there's not, like, a whole flood that's trying to come out of there. You know what I mean? It's, like, the, it's just, it, it's super easy to put those walls up because there's not really that much there with her to begin with. Um, but, yeah, she's more focused on herself and her transformation and playing around with these different roles and these, you know, getting into this more masculine energy. Um, so they're really just, they're not compatible. It's not, I feel like if he pursues her, it's just not going to... It's just going to be the same things as before. I don't I don't think it's really going to go anywhere. Tell me more about this. It's more karmic. I mean, I don't... I don't really... They might have had, like, one past life together, but I'm not getting, like, a series of past lives or anything like that. Like, it's not that strong of a connection, honestly. I think it was more of a fantasy, honestly, on in, on his end. It was more like, it's, it's like he knows what he wants. He knows what his ideal woman is. And so he tried to get her to be those things. And, you know, po probably same for her. It's like they didn't really accept or understand each other fully. I do, like I said, I do feel like he understood her a lot more um, than she understood him for sure. And I think he tried harder. I think he went out of his way more to understand her than she did with him. I think he, he definitely gave more in that relationship. But anyway, let's wrap this up. What happens if he tries to go back with her? How is that going to end? If he tries to get back with his ex, what's going to happen there? I don't even know if she's fully open to it because, like I said, I think she's just kind of focused on her transformation. Like, I think she would keep him on the side, but I think she would still be focused on other things. Injustice, Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot. I feel like he would really try to be good to her. Like, they were, he would try to bring justice in. He would try to be loyal and stable with her um, and move forward. But I think there'd be more battles. Nine of Wands is like... Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. It's it's someone who's almost at the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back that you just cannot take anymore. 
So I feel like he would be determined to change for her and to do right by her and to make it work. And I think he would, you know, really go out of his way to be stable and to take his time and, you know, try to fix things with her. And I, I think it would just be another battle. Like, I just, I, I think that it would almost be the end of this karmic cycle because it would change his perspective on this with the hangman. Three of Cups. One or both of them might even end up cheating, honestly, if they got back together because they're not going to be satisfied. Yeah, I feel like his true love is, it would be like a third party. Like, I almost feel like he would end up, like he has met his person, his soulmate, or he will end up meeting his soulmate. Um, and I think that's going to happen, honestly, even if he gets back with her. And so I think it would just kind of be a mess. And I think that, yeah, one or both of them would end up cheating. And I think that his happiness would lie with this other soulmate. They actually would build together. Because in this scenario with, with this king, this this woman that's in this king of swords energy i really don't think that she built with builds with him i don't think she ever really built with him i think it was mostly him doing the work but with this this other this new love or this you know whoever this other soulmate is i feel like it would actually be like teamwork it would be mutual whoever this third party is like they would build together and they would have a ten of pentacles together they would have like this whole ten of pentacles can be um inheritance it can be a legacy too it can be um it can be a lot of things here, but it, it's it's like it it's also talks about financial stability and security. It's like they would really they would build something here together that's stable, that's secure, that's long lasting. Okay, so tell me more about let's just wrap it up. Tell me more about this ex. What would happen if if they got back together? Was she violent with this man? Because I just, this is probably not for everyone, but I just saw a woman, I just got an image of this woman, like, I think she's, like, throwing a beer can and she slaps someone or something like that. Like, I just, it's not for everybody, but I feel like for some, it's like she has a violent side, honestly. Ooh. Okay, tell me more about what would, hap what would happen if they got back together. Yeah, it's just, it's not... Like it feel it's like the honeymoon phase at first where he's like, okay, we can work through this and he's determined. I don't think that she would hmm. I I just don't feel like she would I, I almost I I feel like he needs to use his intuition more, I guess is what I should say. I feel like whoever I'm channeling this man is not very intuitive when it comes to women. It's like there could be women that are interested in him and he doesn't even pick up on it. And then there's other women that are just like not interested. And he like, you know, he is like, he doesn't know, like he, I don't know if he doesn't know how to read women or what it is. Um, it's almost like he sees what he wants to see sometimes. Cause it just kind of feels like with her, he would be doing all the work and I'm, I'm picking up on her energy and I just feel like she might kind of give him half-assed responses like, oh yeah, we can think about getting back together. Sure, let's hang out in a couple weeks or, you know, like just not, just kind of nonchalant. And I almost feel like that would be enough for him. Like in his, so it's almost like she's giving, like he's giving like 100%, she's giving 10%. But in his mind, she's giving 100% because it's like he's projecting on her. Or he's, it's like he's, he's not seeing it clearly. And so she can give him vague responses and he's going to feel like, oh, you know, she's she's open. Like he's not reading her very well because um, I do feel like he would feel like, oh, they're building something together. It's, it's the sun. It's happy. It's warm. It's positive. Like they can get on track. They can they can both make changes on their ends. They can make more compromises. Um, and, yeah, you have to make compromises in relationships. That's normal. But it, it's like. If you have to compromise your entire personality and she has to compromise her entire personality, that's that's kind of different, you know? Um, <laughs> but it, it's almost like he's going to feel like... It's like he's going to have this cloud over him where he thinks that they're building something together and it's really just... 
him giving 90, 90% and her giving, the, you know, 10%. And he's going to tell himself it's 50-50 and then eventually it's like the straw that broke the camel's back. He's going to realize it's it wasn't 50-50, that, it, you know, she's not actually all that invested. She's just kind of, you know, she's probably open to, like, keeping him as a backup option as she explores herself and, and tries to figure out, you know, her sexuality and whatever else. But I, I don't feel like she's really all that into him, honestly. You could be more out of loneliness. Yeah, because he can't be the king of wands with her. He can't be the king of cups or the king of wands. Like, he can't be romantic or emotional or passionate. She doesn't resonate with that and... You know, he shouldn't, it's not really fair to him because it's like, he might even have damage from this where he's like afraid to be that person again because, you know, maybe he's not like that with everyone and he showed her that side of himself and she just really wasn't into it and that's, you know, devastating. But it's almost like, because I'm seeing the strength card and honestly like a negative light here. Um... Strength card can represent Leo as well, especially with the lion here. But, I mean, I feel like it's her taming the lion too, but it's like, that's who he is. He is that lion, and it's like he doesn't get to be that with her. Like, she wants to tame him or control him. She wants him to be a certain way. Um, I also see it as him having to control himself. Like, he can't really be this person. or He can't be his true self around her. He can't be passionate because she looks down on it or she doesn't it's like she doesn't have that level of depth she can't they're not going to have like those long deep talks because that's just not she's too shallow for that honestly he needs someone that's more compatible with him and there is someone out there that that is more compatible with him honestly um I feel like they could even have like a sexual thing very briefly, but oh, I think I'd actually know what it's saying here. Well, I th yeah, I do. Th I mean, I do think that I think they could have something sexual briefly, but I feel like, like I said, I think they weren't compatible sexual. Sex yeah, <laughs> they weren't compatible sexually. And I think that they would have realized that if they got back together, it's almost like Maybe he's romanticizing it a little bit, and if they got back together, it's like they would kind of remember all those problems they have, especially when it comes to sex. And world card, it would, yeah, it would be wrapped up. I also feel like it'd be hard to manifest with her because, I don't know, I feel like this man has psychic abilities or he has, like, he has the ability to manifest what he wants. He has more power than he realizes with the magician here. But, you know, and I've done readings about this in the past, too. Like, I've done, I think I've done, like, certain readings where I went into, um, they were more like discussions where I didn't really do a reading, but I just talked about like healers and psychics and all that. That was like, what, like a month or so ago. It's somewhere on my channel. But I feel like I had a discussion not long ago about that, about how sometimes when you manifest something like, you know, asking for true love or asking for money, you're going to lose the things that are getting in the way of that. And so I think almost at a certain point, it's like he's going to step into the magician role with her if he were to get back together with her. And it's like he would put so much energy into you know, manifesting what he wants. Like, I want true love. I want this kind of connection, but it's not with this ex. And I feel like the, the relationship would end because he's manifesting that type of person and she's not on that vibration. She's not resonating with that energy. And so she's going to be kind of just cleared out. Um, and he's going to be kind of, you know, just alone for a while and he's going to have to heal from this. So I think he would still get back on track to meeting his, you know, actual soulmate if he hasn't met her already, but I just think it'd be, this would be like a road bump. Like, this would kind of get him off track a little bit, and there'd be a whole process he would have to go through where, you know, he, he gets the closure from her, and he he has to kind of heal and rebuild here um, and be alone for a little bit, and, you know, why bother? Why go through that 
Um, anyway, I'm going to put this out there for whoever it's for. Like I said, I really appreciate your comments. If this resonates with you, please comment or, you know, share these videos on your, on your, you know, social media, um, like subscribe. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.